uh, I remember talking to you last year and you told us how excited you were for this, yeah. this movie. Now I've seen it, I know what you were talking about. Um, tell me when you read the script, I mean, what was it about this particular project that, that spoke to you? Because it's oh, well, there's I so love, many layers to it. I absolutely love the era, I love the period. Big fan of Judy Garland and Rene Zellweger and Rupert Gould directing it and a beautiful part. I mean, what's not to like? <laughs> so I haven't seen it yet though, I'm so excited. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I also, uh, great thing, your character and your, I can't remember the, your partner's name in the in the movie. Yes. They Stan have this love of, of Judy Garland, but also it's part of the era that, yes. you know, very reflective and very much, you know, totally. looking at where we were then and where we are now. Yeah. I mean, it was important for you to tell that story right and to give it as much justice as possible. Absolutely. I think it's really important when you think about how, how gay rights have moved on and how that world has changed. It's very easy to forget that it's only a blink away that you'd be put in prison. And it was really, it's so elegantly written, um, the story that I go through and sharing that with uh, Judy and Rene, you know. It's a very beautiful thing to do and it was, it was very important to me to tell that as sincerely and honestly and uh, as I could. So I think it's, I'm very excited to see it. There's two, there's two sequences in the movie that were very, very touching when you're, you're in the company of Judy. One yes. where you're at your house and another where you're at the, the concert yes. with your partner and she's yeah. struggling but you kind of give yeah, her a bit yeah. of impetus yeah. and stuff like that. No two, spoilers. No yeah. spoilers. <laughs> yeah. Two beautiful moments. What was it like being in those moments with Rene oh. but also in those, just those general moments? Well, the thing is, you know, when you're doing a film, you know, and as an actor, what you hope for are moments that, that aren't just perfunctory that you can actually do something with so when I read this role I mean I've only probably got seven or eight scenes but they're all with Rene and the scenes the way they were written just meant there was stuff moment real moments and that's just so exciting it's what it's all you want I can imagine when you saw her performing that you got a sense of her performance but oh. you haven't seen the film yet I you're in for an absolute she, treat. She's unbelievable. She's unbelievable to work with and absolutely delightful. So lovely to everybody. That's, that's really something. Yeah. And you're going from this to something very big next year with Jungle Cruise. With, <laughs> yeah, with I've done that little, as well. Little Dwayne Johnson and a little yes. Emily Blunt. Tiny yeah. little independent film for yeah. Disney. Uh, yeah. How was that experience? Because I imagine that was much, much bigger, but also just as enjoyable given the people that are involved. I think the set that I did, the lion's share of my... I, I've got quite a few scenes in that, but there's a big set that I did. I think that set probably cost more than the entire budget of ghost stories. So it, it's quite an adventure, you know, doing things on that level, you know. But amazing. And I was out in Atlanta for best part of a month, you know. So, again, haven't seen it. But who has yet? No one. But that's Jammer who directed that, who I did The Commuter with. It was great. And Ula... Berkland, who shot this, shot ghost stories. So that was a nice, friendly face. Yeah. Enjoy the movie, you will have an absolute blast. Thank you so much for your time. So nice Pleasure you again, you as well. See you later. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey You Guys.